feeling of walking into a cobweb gives me the heebie-jeebies. And you know, rightfully so, because Ohio has some pretty creepy crawlers, and some of them are huge. Let's take a look at some of Ohio's biggest bugs, starting with this guy, the American burying beetle. With its reddish-orange markings, they are hard to mistake. Plus, they can grow up to one and a half inches long. Size aside, these guys live one nasty life in grasslands and forests. In order to start a family, the male beetles go on the hunt, seeking out small dead animals like birds or chipmunks. Once a carcass has been found, he'll attract a mate. Together with the female beetle, the two will bury the dead animal and then they remove the fur or feathers from the carcass and cover it in secretions that preserve the body. Basically, they make a mummy. Once this is complete, the two beetles will mate and the female lays her eggs in a nearby burrow. When the eggs hatch into larvae, they feed on the mummified animal. As gross as all that sounds, the beetles are basically recycling dead animals and they're actually pretty attentive parents. Both males and females spend time protecting and feeding the larvae until they grow into beetles. The American burying beetle is endangered and protected both by the federal and state government. From beetles, let's crawl over to Ohio's biggest spider. The Carolina wolf spider is one guy I would not want to run into. They too are pretty rare in our state, but they have a body that's one and a half inches long and a four inch leg span. Carolina wolf spiders hunt for prey at night. Rather than spinning a web like spiders, they make burrows in the ground. They have excellent eyesight and are super speedy. Luckily, they're scared of humans, so normally they will run away from us. That is, if you haven't run away from them first. Okay, one last guy who isn't so scary. The Cecropia caterpillar. I mean, he looks just like a cartoon. The tubby green guys can grow up to six inches long. They eat just about any leaves they can find. And even though the orange, blue, and yellow spikes on their back are a warning for other bugs to stay away, they aren't harmful to humans. After feasting all summer, they build their cocoon and don't emerge until spring. And boy, when they do, they are just as big. The Cecropia moth can have a wingspan of nearly six inches. Their wings are patterned with brown, red, white, and gray. And their furry bodies are striped red and white. This is as big as they'll ever get. They don't feed as adults, since this stage of their life is all about mating. Okay, those are all the bugs I can handle today. As long as they're outside and not in my house, I'm okay with it.